Hi guys, in this one we are going to compare the async performance versus the synchronous performance and we are going to see which approach is better and by how much. So we are going to use a external API for this and this is a swappy API, the Star Wars API, where we have basically two endpoints. We have the people and we also have the starships. So we are going to measure how much time, how long does it take to get the data in the traditional approach and the more modern one. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so let's get started with this project. And what we actually need is a blank Django project without any applications because all the data we will get from an external API and this is going to be a Star Wars API and I'm going to show you this in just a, a few seconds. So what we actually need to do is to head over to the settings py file and over here we need to find templates and tell Django where to look for additional templates. So according to those settings I created a templates directory and I've put in the base HTML file with only one block, which I named content. And this is actually it. So in order to proceed, we will need to do uh, some installations. And to be more precise, we will need the AO HTTP, which is a async HTTP client server for Asyncio and Python. So uh, yeah, we will be working with this, but we will also install the ordinary Python requests so we can actually compare the performance between async and sync. And yeah, we will use data from the Swap Swappy dev um, site. So this is a Star Wars API and here are the endpoints. So we will have people's list, and a starship list and we will load it um, into the same view so um, in the ordinary approach we will first load the people's list and then we will load the starship list and then in the uh, async approach we will load these two side by side okay so let's head over to our main project folder. Since we don't have any applications, I'm going to create a views py file over here. And I'm also going to create a utils py for a helper function. And then what I'm going to do next is to head over to the terminal, quit the server from running, pip install requests, and pip install AO install AO HTTP. All right, so we have uh, successfully installed these two packages, and let's go back to the views py and let's focus on the traditional approach first. So I'm going to do some imports from Django shortcuts. We want to import render. Then we also want to import requests and time. And yeah, I think this is it for for now in the for the traditional approach. So let's define a home view which takes in a request. And over here, what we are going to do is to uh, first of all start measuring time. So I'm going to define a variable start time, and this is going to be time dot time. And as the next step, I'm going to open an empty list, and I'm going to create a URL list which will consist of those two endpoints. So first, I'm going to grab the starships. No, so first go the people so first we have the people let's put it in and as the next step let's put in the starships so let's put it over here and below let's create a for loop for url in url list we want to refer to our empty data list and append 
the requests get and we want to get a single URL and we want to decode it from JSON. Okay. And finally, we can also calculate the total time, and this is going to be time time minus the start time. And finally, we can return render as in the request. Next, we need to provide the template, and we don't have it yet, we just have the base HTML, but I'm going to create a home HTML in just a second. And then we need to pass in what we actually want to bring into this home HTML. So we want to pass in people, and this is going to be the first position in our data list. So we need to put in data zero and star ships, and this is going to be data one, okay? So um, yeah, let's go ahead and save this and let's create this home HTML. So I'm going to also put it inside the templates directory, home HTML. Let's inherit from base HTML. And let's open up the block content. Okay, so over here, what I'm going to do is to create a diff with a class equal to row. I'm going to close off this div and I'm going to create two columns. Div class is equal to call and I'm going to copy this and put it also below. So the first one will be for the people and the other one is going to be for the starships. Maybe I will add a margin of three and let's begin with the people. So first of all, what we need to do is to take a look at this API. And let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see exactly what's going on over here. So what we want to access are the results, okay? So we need to loop through, in case of the people, if we take a look at the views, here is the name and we, we need to add dot results to access the results. So let's do this really quickly. Uh, back to home HTML, let's create a for loop. For um, p in people dot results, what we want to do is to, sorry, technical problems, okay. What we want to do is to put in a div class with a card and adding three and let's close it off and let's put in over here p name, okay. So right now we are referring to the name. So the name will be Luke Skywalker the name will be C3PO, the name will be R2D2, and so on. You get the point. All right. And uh, here it shouldn't be a paragraph, it should be a diff. Sorry about that. So this is the for first column, and let's do the same thing for the other one. So now we should re refer to the starship. So let's create another for loop for S in starships results and over here let's also create this div class equal to card and padding three and let's close it off and let's take a look at the starships so again we need to refer to the name okay so i'm going to put in s name. All right, so we have this ready. So actually what we need to do is to register this view. And in order to do that, let's go to our main URLs py, the only URLs py file in our project. And let's do the import from dot views. We want to import home view. Let's define a new path as the main path. 
home view and the name is going to be home. All right, so I'm going to save this, refresh, and we have some issues because the server isn't running. Python manage py run server and let's take a look at this again and there it is so as the next step I'm going to check I was hoping to check uh, the time how long did it take but I think we forgot to yeah we forgot to print out the total okay so let's do this one more time I'm going to hit refresh and here we have 0.4 almost. Let me make this bigger again. 0.4. Let's do it one more time. 0.4 almost. 0.4 almost. 0, uh, 0.35. So this is the result over here is in the range of 0 0.35 to 0 0.40 okay so this is our performance which we will try to improve so I'm going to save this and right now I'm going to actually comment this home view out and I'm going to define a new home view, which was going to be async. So home view, it will also take in a request, but over here in front, what we want to do is to put in async. So we have async home view. We will start measuring the time from the beginning. So we should also put it in the first line. And um, over here, we will also return render something. So I'm going to put it over here. But for now, I'm going to simply leave this dictionary as empty. And let's also put in this URL, URL list because it's going to be the same for async and sync okay so we will use this url list and then as the next step let's take a look at the documentation so here i'm leaving a link to the description but what we basically need to do is to have this fetch uh, function which will go into our utils py file and this way we will be able to fetch the data and if something goes wrong, we will have an assertion error because we only are allow the response status equal to 200, which is a um, OK status, a success status. OK, and then we need to use this fetch function in our actual view. So what I'm going to do is to copy this and I'm going to place it directly into our utils py file and instead of this url i'm going to put in a url which is going to be passed over here and instead of response text we want to put in response json so this is going to be our fetch function which we are going to import right now so from dot utils we want to import fetch okay and as the next step let's also bring in this async with AO HTTP client session as client so I'm just going to grab in the first line put it below the URL list and we need to import AO HTTP AO HTTP. Okay, and over here, before we actually move any further, be sure that you actually seen my first video, which was an introduction to async views, because we will kind of need this knowledge right now. So, what I'm going to do is to create an empty tasks list, 
And here I'm going to loop through the URL list again. So for URL in URL list, and I'm going to define a task. So here we are, we are creating tasks from coroutines, and this is going to be asyncio, and we need to import asyncio. Asyncio, and then ensure future. Here we need to use the fetch method, pass in the client session, and we also need to pass in the URL itself. Then we want to append to the tasks this single task. And below we can define a variable called results, and this is going to be await async yo gather. And over here we need to unpack this tasks uh, list. So let's do it. And right now we are running those tasks side by side. So we won't proceed to the next line of code, which we will write in just a second, until this is done. Okay, so let's right now, since we over here get the results, let's get the total time. So the total time is going to be time, time minus the total. Uh, not total but start time and let's not forget to print total and here we will have a similar situation but the naming will be a little bit different i'm named this results so let's put in people first and we will have the result zero and then we will need to put in starships starships and this is going to be results one, okay? So let's save this and let's run this a couple of times. So let's see how this performs right now. And we have 0 27, 28 actually. Let's do it one more time. 0 23, wow, that's a nice result. Let's run this a uh, few times more. And here it was actually quite a long one, so something lagged. 130. And yeah, we are back to normal. 026. 023. 023. 24. If you round up, 0.22, okay? So you see um, the improvement in performance. Here I'm going to put in zero, I think I can put in 0.23. Uh, let's not count this one result where we have 1.29. So it's, it's from 0.22 all the way to 0.26. So uh, yeah, this is how you can improve the performance and what you can do is also use this as an endpoint because uh, if we import from Django HTTP JSON import JSON response, we can actually return JSON response and we can pass this in over here. So I'm going to comment out the return render. And yeah, let's do it like this. Let's hit refresh. And there is the data. So you can actually, for example, with Ajax, fetch the data and use it in a more modern way. So I think we can finish off over here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wish you all a great day and hopefully see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.